we secured finals position two rounds out from the end of the season and the last two games really depended on where we'd finish on the table. In our last fixture we played South away at South and it was a really back and forward game. Um, both teams battling it off for finals positions. It was a really tight game. Um, we, we scored, then South would score. The whole game was, the, the margin never blew out. We were always within five points of each other. And in the end, South kicked a penalty goal to win. After losing our last game against South away, it meant that we would replay them in an elimination final the following week at Ballymore. Finals footy is something that that doesn't always come around every season, and definitely a few few memories that come to mind is an under 13s final. Um, we came up against Sunnybank, and they were a side that that had won all their round games all year. It was pretty unusual that they scored two tries and we managed to kick two field goals and two penalties and, and take the win. Before our final, um, James O'Connor was a late inclusion into our side. He was um, available for selection and decided he wanted to play a game for his old junior club. Um, having James in the side, it definitely lifted and and gave the team a lot of confidence leading into the game. You know, he's got a lot of experience playing playing Test rugby and Super rugby. <laughs> got out to a really good start. They strung some really good phases together and managed to put two tries on the board early. And we found ourselves you know, 12, 14 points down early.
We managed to get ourselves back in the game, scoring two tries and kicking a, a penalty goal in the first half, bringing the scores back pretty even coming into the half-time break. <laughs> We started the second half really well and we we definitely felt like we were on top of South um, with the momentum going our way. Um, you know, we played field position pretty well and managed to hold on to the ball.
game we found Chris Sortier, their best defender, was marking up against James and we had a centre field scrum and we thought that if we set up 4-2 and put James to the right that Chris, Chris would be out of the equation on the defence so as predicted James went to the right and Chris followed him. Um, you know that, that knowledge of knowing of taking their best defender out is is um, something that that you do at the next level and that's something that he brought to the team that night. With 10 minutes to go we had a really comfortable lead and we're travelling really well in a good position. We were in a really good attacking position and we moved the ball to the left with a big overlap and the pass didn't go to hand and the ball was loose and Chris picked it up with 70 metres to run and he managed to get there and it's crazy how one moment can change the whole momentum of the game. Go brother. With a few minutes to go, we had a, we still had a one try lead.